Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, like the previous one, we will be working with two routers, R1 and R2. This time, we will configure both an enable password and an enable secret and contrast the two. Again, I will only work with one of the routers in this video for the sake of time, but I recommend that you perform the configurations on both of the routers for practice, even though it's not necessary for this lab. Also, some of the steps here are things we've already done in the previous lab. This is on purpose. I don't know about you, but for me, doing something just once isn't sufficient for me to feel confident that I can remember it. See if you can complete the lab yourself first, and then continue watching this video if you have any trouble, or watch it afterwards to check your solution. Step 1 is to connect the two routers by their Gigabit Ethernet 00 interfaces. To do this, click on the connections in the bottom left corner, select the cable, and attach it to the Gig00 interface on R1, and then on R2. That's all there is to step one. Step two is to set the host name of each router according to the network diagram, that is to R1 and R2. Let's click on R1 and select CLI to access the command line interface. Again, we can see that the router's host name is currently router. To set the host name, we have to be in global configuration mode. Currently, we are in exec mode, as indicated by the greater than sign next to the current router name. I'll type en or enable to enter privileged exec mode. This is indicated by the pound sign or hashtag, whatever you want to call it, next to the host name. From here, I'll type conf t or configure terminal to reach global configuration mode. From here, I'll use the hostname r1 command to change the hostname to r1. You can see immediately that the hostname has changed to r1. Step 2 is now complete. Step 3 is to set the enable password to Cisco. This is the same step as in the previous lab. Since we are already in global configuration mode, I just have to enter enable password Cisco to set the enable password. That's step three. Step four is new to this lab. Now we must set the enable secret to CCNA. What is an enable secret? Well, you may recall that the enable password is not encrypted by default. That means it is stored in clear text in the configuration. To confirm this, I'll use the do show run command. Remember that the do allows us to use commands in global configuration mode that we would normally have to be in privileged exec mode to use. As you can see, the enable password is right there in clear text. Enable password Cisco. Not very secure. The enable secret is a more secure password because it is encrypted by default. Use the enable secret command to create it. Enable secret CCNA. Step four is now complete. Step five asks us to return to exec mode and try to enter privileged exec mode once again. I'll type exit twice to return to exec mode. Now I'll use the enable command to enter privileged exec mode and I am asked for a password. Which one should I enter? Let's try the enable password of Cisco. Again, the characters are not shown as I type. I tried Cisco three times and it doesn't seem to work. Let's use the enable command again and this time try the enable secret, CCNA. As you can see, the enable secret works. This is important to remember. If you create both an enable password and an enable secret. Although both will be stored in the running config, only the enable secret can be used to enter privileged exec mode. The enable password is effectively useless. 
That's step five. Step six asks us to view the running configuration. We're already in privileged exec mode, so I'll just type the show running config command. As you can see, the enable password is still in plain text, enable password Cisco. However, our enable secret of CCNA has been encrypted. It now says enable secret five, followed by an unintelligible string of characters. The five indicates the type of encryption. Don't worry about that for now. Just notice that the enable secret has been encrypted without using the service password encryption command that we used in the previous lab. That's step six. Step seven asks us to enable password encryption. If you remember, this is done in global configuration mode, so I'll type conf t to get there. Next, service password encryption. That's it. Now let's check the running config. Do show run. Now both passwords are encrypted. Notice, however, that the enable secret has not changed because it is already encrypted by default. Also, notice that the enable secret uses type 5 encryption and that the enable password uses type 7 encryption. You can tell just by looking at the strings that follow that the encryption algorithms are different. That's step seven. Step eight of this lab asks us to save the configuration of the routers, something we didn't do in the previous lab. Basically, what we want to do is copy the current running configuration to what is called the startup configuration. First, let's compare the two. I'll exit to privileged exec mode and type show run. This is the current running configuration. You can scroll down one line at a time with the enter key or blocks at a time with the spacebar. Notice that the enable password and enable secret we created are here. Now let's type show startup config. It says startup config is not present. This is because this is a new router and we haven't saved anything on it. Now, there are two ways to save the current configuration. The first one is copy running config startup config or copy run start for a shorter version if you prefer. It's self-explanatory, but this command copies the running config to the startup config. I'll enter the command and press enter to confirm. Now, if we use the show startup config command, it is identical to the current running config. Now, there is another, even simpler way to do the same thing. That is with the write command. That's it. You can even shorten it to just wr. Copy running config, startup config, and write both do the same thing, so use whichever you prefer. Now, the final step is to reload the router. I will do this with the reload command. And there we go. Now you can see that the host name is still R1. This proves that we successfully saved our changes. I'll use the enable command to enter privileged exec mode. And as you can see, I'm asked for a password. This also proves that we successfully saved our changes to the configuration. I enter the enable secret of CCNA and now I'm in privileged exec mode. Finally, I'll type show startup config just to confirm. As you can see, our changes are still there. Step eight and this lab are now complete. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin donations via the address in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token donations in the Brave browser.